Hello, this is my ET350 midterm one permanent DC motor presentation. I'm going to start with the armature. And in the bottom left, you can see that it is wound in a counterclockwise fashion in this view. And the wire on the left had all of its insulating enamel coating removed, while the wire on the right had the insulating enamel coating removed on the side facing the tape flag to create the commutator. And here you see my jig with the 1.5 volt AAA battery, the switch, and the magnet. So the current flows from the positive side of the er, battery through the positive side of the switch, out the negative side of the switch, up through the positive brush, through the illustrated armature, and to the negative brush, and back to the negative side of the voltage source. And I use a magnet pole locator to find out that the north pole is facing the armature. And so the magnetic flux density due to Gauss's law of magnetism is going to be up and out. And the expected rotation using Bill's law and Gauss's law of magnetism is seen to the left. So previously, we noticed that the north pole of the magnet is facing the armature. So the magnetic flux density B due to Gauss's law of magnetism is facing up and out. And this is the starting position for the armature. So current goes through, up through the positive brush, and it goes in a clockwise fashion through the armature back to the negative side of the voltage source. And so due to Bill's law, right hand rule number one, the force on the top of the armature is out towards the user and the bottom is pushed away causing this clockwise rotation and we needed a commutator because as it rotates 180 degrees away and 90 degrees from that point that half of the rotation is gonna have a, a reverse current direction with respect to the magnetic flux density causing a reverse in the force and a counterclockwise rotation so we don't want current to flow in these situations and that why is the that is why we have the commutator. So in that half of the rotation, there's enamel coating creating an insulating layer in between the actual armature and the brush. So current can't flow when the forces will cause a counterclockwise rotation and the armature will continue rotating through the enamel coated areas and uh, create a force that is consistent with a clockwise rotation. So the current is on, off, on, off, on, off, and only on when it creates the clockwise rotation. So here's a, here's a demo of my permanent magnet DC motor. Um, I'm gonna show how it rotates clockwise. You're gonna see the top rotate this way, and the top of the uh, tape flag will hit the top of the pen. It'll stop like that. And now here is an example of it spinning. Thank you very much.